Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Build It With Smith. I'm your host, Smith, and we're back to SimCity. I got this request. A couple of guys were asking, or they may have been girls, but they were asking, hey, what happened to SimCity? Do you still play it? Are you going to play it? Yes, I still play SimCity, and so I just figure I will uh, check in with you guys and let you know what's going on here in my city. Not much has changed um, since the last video, actually. Um, it looks like we have another prompt to do a epic project but you know um uh, there is one thing i wanted to show you guys i don't know if i showed this in the last video but uh this area here i kind of um you know added some stuff to you'll have to go back to like my older videos to see how this area used to look but i kind of put this park here and it's actually got other little like a sculpture park going through there and some other things and so it's really more exciting. I added this river here. And let's see how much we're collecting today. 20,000 simoleons. So uh, there are still some vacant spots in our city. And uh, I guess I'm really just overwhelmed. Uh, there's a lot of things that this game has to offer. And sometimes you get kind of overwhelmed with all the new buildings and things like that. And me, I like to just, if I can stick to city design i know a lot of people like the wars and stuff like that and i did play the wars and they were good but um for some reason uh i'm just an old-fashioned sim city guy that likes to build in my city so let's see here we just unlocked some things pretty useful oh what do we got here hello mayor Ever wonder what the early Sims were like? Build your ancient Petra ruins in your mountains. Oh, it's mountain buildings. Hmm. Huh. Introductory price. How much? 450 cash. And so. Don't have that available today, guys. So I guess we won't see that. But uh, what else do we have? Oh, you want to buy something? Never. I will never sell anything uh, because I'm steady trying to build for that there, right there, so that there area. This is just kind of the research. Yeah, but you know, I really got to rearrange things here. Kind of got a lot going on. Uh, so perhaps I should do that. Um, you know, a lot of folks want to know how to uh redesign your city when you already don't have a lot of space and i do have some space here but um you know i think i'll take this opportunity to show you what i would do uh you know to rearrange things so i guess i need to see what buildings do i want to move right here i did like just having the um or what did i have here actually yeah, I think right here, I liked having the um, luxury kind of mansion buildings. And there's a few over here that I'll grab and bring them to a new home. Right over here. All right. Okay, so there's that. And we can move these guys elsewhere because they don't belong over here next to these tiny buildings. Now, what else do we have? As far as that goes, here's another nice looking luxury mansion. And we'll bring that over here. Don't want to mix things up too much, but let's see. And these are like those French buildings. I uh, probably will find a place for those later. Now, are there any more? Are there any more mansion buildings? Let's see. Here is one. It actually looks just like the other one that it's next to. So now I got two buildings that kind of look alike. I really don't like to have that going on. Let's see. Can we find another mansion? Ah, here's one. Grab this guy. Bring him over there. Introduce him. To some more folks all right put this in that corner and all right so let's see how does that look mm, it looks okay 
What I might do is uh, just actually have one row. All right, so I'm getting, getting something else here. Just one row. I mean, because these really don't add to the population. They're nice to look at and everything. And I'm kind of all about the looks, but we could just have one row for that. And then the next row can be slightly taller buildings. So we have some of those, not too tall, not like this tall. I mean, this is ridiculous, right? We don't want this in the middle of our, so we'll just put this over here in this other area where we're kind of just collect. Oh, I'm turned around here. Where are we at? Kind of just collecting buildings and building roads as necessary. All right. Here's like an apartment type of building. And so we just got a lot of different things going on here. Now, what I did want to do, and those are kind of like the same kind of buildings, but they can be like twin towers or something. Um, this one can move somewhere else. Move this on out of the way. And hopefully for what I want to do, I don't have to build any new buildings. Hopefully I got just the right amount. All right, so now how about putting some of these kind of buildings right behind those? And I'm sure there's more where that came from. Here's one here. And so we'll drag this guy right over here. All right, that's kind of the look I was going for right here. And now we just need a couple of other buildings about this size. Hopefully I can find some that are not like exactly the same. And of course, I got some over here. I could always mix up, trade out, things like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, which one did I take? Oops. So I took the wrong one. The wrong one that I put over here. I thought... I guess I must have looked. All right. Um, other buildings to use. Let's search for some. Is this another library? Oh, it's not. Okay. Well, I guess while we're doing all that, we can move these guys. I want to move these apartment type buildings to face these. And we could just kind of move these. Maybe these could go over here or something like that. More, more of these types of buildings. Yep. Move those over there until we find something else to do with them. But yeah, I do want to keep these apartment like buildings. Put them over here. Mix those up a bit. And I guess we'll take this red building, make that a part of that row. And there we go. Do I have music playing in the game? The music is off. Let's turn the music on. All right. So let's see what we got so far. All right. So, I mean, this area here, we'll, you know, do something with that. It's kind of part of the, kind of part of, you know everything we got going on as a matter of fact there was a building i could there was like a nursery or something i could put right here next to the library and then i would have kind of like a i got the elementary school there i got the library here there's my house right in the front of the city all right but let's see hopefully you guys are watching this on the big screen It'd be a lot of fun. Watch this on the big screen if you got those capabilities. All right, so here we are there. Okay, so that looks that looks pretty nice. I think so. All right, so that's that. Um, let's see. Is there something? So we just got some buildings that, like this one here, that just... Um, does not really go with anything. 
this one right here, this one with the, that one. Doesn't really go with anything right now. It's kind of small and out of place, kind of little, need, needs to modernize a little bit. So let's spread out over here, make sure. All right, over here, I was working on uh, upgrades at one point. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just have to come back to that. And what's over here? What was I going to do here? What were my thoughts for this area? I think I was going to use like... Oh, so many buildings are unhappy over here. All right. Um, I got the university here. I wonder what I was going to do here. It's now kind of blank. I, I could just put, here are my thoughts. I could just put, you know, the um, more beach buildings, but I don't want to block up the university buildings, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm wondering what I could put there. I know over here we had like these dormitories. I could put some more of those, like maybe take from here, put them over there. Let's see where they get better. So they actually get more of a population boost if I was to put them over here. Make it kind of more, we'll, we'll see how it looks. We'll see how it looks. So just enough space actually. Um, I guess it looks okay. I hate really having two of the same buildings next to each other. That's just probably something kind of like a preference for me. Maybe it doesn't bother anybody else. Do those buildings here kind of just make these look so much smaller? I mean, it's neat. Let's see. Can I flip this one? How will it look if I flip it? Like that. Facing inwards. I guess that looks all right. Some shops, hotels, says a hotel. So maybe like if uh, this is my college campus, if you guys didn't know. So maybe like if some parents are coming to visit their kids, they could stay at that college campus. All right. Um, so what's going on here? Kind of got some tall buildings. Some that could probably move over here to this little area. I wonder how that would look. What else did I put over here? Maybe kind of get these. These are the, uh, let's see, these are the premium. No, these are the standard, standard buildings. Oops, what happened? Standard buildings. So let's kind of move those. Uh, do, do I have enough room? Right there. So how would that look? Kind of a little old school, a little bit. Let's get this one. This is a more, mo ooh, sorry. This is a more modern one right here. And I got to figure out what to do with those, actually. What to do with these buildings. I wonder if I have too many buildings. This is quite possible. It's quite possible that I have too many buildings and not enough space to... I don't know, I'm not afraid to delete some buildings if need be. Uh, what else? Let's see. So this right here, these are, a lot of these are, some of these are epic buildings. This is an epic building. It really belongs to the beach area. So let's just stop what we're doing and move the rest of the buildings that we had to the beach area. And all these buildings, these are like the premium skyscrapers. They kind of look like condos to me, and I can move those. So, yeah. 
Uh, oh, right. Okay, I kind of lost track of what I was doing. So I was going to take this building, which is a nice beachfront building, I believe. Move it down here next to the beach. And what else? Do we have any more beach buildings? These two are... Uh, those, oh, what is this one? This one's a nice building. Wonder where that should go. Is that like a beach building also? It looks so nice, actually. Hmm. I forgot what category that's under, but I really like it and really think that it needs to go somewhere where it's very well seen. Like maybe right there or something. Matter of fact, this is a pretty tall building. It's kind of dwarfing everything else. Uh, I need a special place for this building right here. That one right there. Special place. Let's move these over here. All right, let's place that one there. And this is a tall building as well. Something like that. All right. Um, got a lot of buildings that don't have a home. How about let's move this one over here to that one area I was saying. Was oh, this like the same type of building? Hate it when that happens. Nope, it's not exactly the same. All right, so let's move this one. Uh, actually... So there's that. All right, so we kind of got that area there. It's kind of like more of the, you know, standard type of building. Then we have this area. It's more, a little more upscale apartment living. And then we just robbed a bunch from here, put them over there, part of our college town. And then we have all of these buildings, which are kind of like the education buildings. But I was kind of thinking, to me, it makes a little more sense to put the education buildings also by the campus. Now, let's see where we get better. Okay, so we get 8,000 there. We get 80, just about the same, it appears. So... Got a lot of nice buildings. No, I don't want to. What are you saying? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Tell you what, I'm going to go eat dinner and then I'm going to come back uh, and show you all how I played around with the city. How about we do that? And then I'll give you the tour. Hey, what's up, folks? I'm back, back from eating dinner. And I uh, spent a little bit of time in the game just kind of uh, changing things around. So without further ado, let me give you guys the tour. All right. So this is our main avenue, of course, coming into the town. And actually, let me do this. You know, I just noticed last time I did not have the uh, sound on. I apologize. Uh, so you guys have not been hearing the wonderful sounds in the city until now, but I've turned them on. We got music. We got sound. Let's sit back, kick back with some tea, some coffee, whatever you like. And let's take a tour of the new and improved on a Tuesday, my city. All right. So here we are at the entrance and right away you can see we've got some pretty luxurious houses here all on sale. Yes. You can see how shiny they are. So this little area right here, it's kind of like for the rich folks. This is their mansions right here, right as you come into the city. One guy decided to paint his reddish pinkish, actually. And then there's a blue one back here. So lots of variety, lots of crazy things going on here. Right across the street, of course, is Smith. Yes, that is my mansion. You guys have seen it before. And uh, across the street, you can pretty much tell that we value education in the On a Tuesday City because we have 
uh, elementary school right there. Elementary school, the proper services, uh, health, fire, and police. And right across the street are the grown kids, the big kids, the um, teenagers, the high school right there. Right across the street. And then right here we have the um, uh, park and they're playing baseball. Uh, oh, the guy's just making home runs. No one is even moving. He must have cast a spell on them. Uh, why are there so many people on the baseball field? I don't know. That's not realistic, actually, to have so many people. And then they're all well, doing the same pose. But uh, I suppose. Anyway, across the street, we have the library continuing with our... Uh, right across the street from the baseball field, actually. So you have some kids that are into sports, some kids that are into reading. And we support it all here. And then, of course, some apartments so folks can come stumble right out their door and into the library. More apartments there. More proper services. Some uh, smaller buildings. And then, of course, I like this area here. This is a little more upscale, I should say. And that, uh, that um, fountain there really adds a little something. Okay, and coming from this way, we have our shops. Here are our shops. And uh, you see the people are hurrying to get to them and all of that. And let's go ahead and look at the entrance to our university. Here's our university right here. That is a statue of me, uh, or maybe my grandfather or something. He'd start at the university. Right there, right there. Kids on campus uh, marveling at it. And here we go with the big uh, buildings. This is, these are the, uh, the epic buildings, the education epic buildings. And if you watch one of the videos, recent videos that I had, I uh, made one of these an epic cheetah building, gold, actually. So take a look at the campus. We got a library. We got lots of things there. Buildings, dormitories right over here. So dormitories, hotels, football field, art gallery, and then uh, everything else. If you're interested to see how I made this layout, you can go back to the first video that I made for this year, 2018. And it, uh, I've been working on this particular layout since January, beginning of January this year. So if you want to take that journey with me, go back, look at my playlist. And uh, it's, I think it's called uh, How to Restart Your City or How to Redesign Your City or so something like that. Uh, but anyway, so... Then we go to the beach. Now let's take a look at the beach. The beach looks pretty good actually, especially with these colorful buildings here. I think the beach looks pretty nice. Yeah, look at the beach. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Bird's eye view. All right, nice little avenue, palm trees and whatnot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So then we enter our entertainment district. Oh, now I like this building here. I know I said that already, but I still like it. Look at it. Not that one. This one. This one. Look at that building. Matter of fact, all these buildings aren't too bad. This one there is kind of weird, almost like a spaceship, I think. All right. So, yes, the entertainment district, you have, uh, you know, expo centers, football stadiums, things like that. Right there. And a lot of these shaped buildings this go around, these were actually hard to come by, but now it appears I have like four of them. I, I like that, the, this, this shaped building, but now I kind of got too many of them. A lot of the same kind of building. Oh, now you're wondering, what's all that? What's all that? He has a castle. Let's finish looking at the university from this angle. I think it looks really nice, especially with the bridges and stuff and with a little bit of the downtown going on. I think it looks really nice. Then we have the aquarium over here. Uh, really nice, really nice, really nice. Even an evergreen Christmas tree. It's always Christmas there. Got that going on as well. Now, 
back to what we were saying here. So you have a golf course, of course, and then right across the street you have a palace. Now, this doesn't really make a lot of sense, but if you look at the casino buildings and kind of how they look right next to it, and of course this, this uh, like mountain sort of deal, it kind of all makes sense because all the colors and stuff, I don't know, do you? It kind of fits in, and then you got like this Chinatown, Tokyo Town deal there, and you got some Tokyo-inspired buildings here. I, I think it kind of all falls in. A peaceful, this is a zen. This is a zen to the town. All right. So, yeah, you've seen. Oh, so I kind of changed some buildings out, kind of made, exchanged these, made them shorter. And, oh, oh, yeah. Right, so let's just go back. Let's go back. Okay, so uh, yeah, I got these tugboats here. They may not make a whole lot of sense because uh, they seem to be putting the government officials in danger uh, with just having a building, uh, you know, right there. So anyway, we might reconsider their placement. But I did miss. Uh, I I placed the uh, these buildings here. Uh, you know, so that uh, this whole thing, this is the campus for the Department of Epic Projects. So they have living facilities, you have work headquarters, you have everything there. That's that's what I've, you know, named that place. And you got some older buildings. Oh, and over here, if you're wondering, well, a saloon, you know, Smith, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Well, I, I figured out a story for this. So what this is, is basically, this is a movie studio. And these are props for the movie studio. They're filming an old Western here. So they, they set up a, uh, you know, a scene right there. So lots of stuff could be going on. And over here, we are 100% green. We don't have to worry about pollution. All of these down the way. And we even kind of separated ourselves from all the gambling and whatnot over here and uh, and all of that. So let's take one more flyover. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. It's kind of been a part of my city for a while, the casino city that is. I just put these uh, Tokyo buildings here and it really makes things look nice, I think. So, so that's that. That is the tour of my city. Every place has a spot. And I think it looks pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, I think. So, uh, hey, you guys do me a favor. At the end of this video, I'm going to queue up uh, one of my other games that I'm covering, Castleburn. Uh, you may or may not like it, but check out the video. It's a real short little thing there to teach you how to play if you want to play it. And I have a free download link for you to download it and play it if uh, you're interested. I know we have a lot of SimCity heavy uh, folks on here, but check out something new if you wouldn't mind. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how your city is coming along, and we'll check you out next time. Peace out, guys.